Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another McFarlane Toys review. This time looking at the Spartan Fred from Halo 5 Guardian Series 1. This figure retails for around 10 to 15 pounds depending on where you can find it and includes some fantastic detailing, articulation and accessories. Like the Master Chief and Kelly figures from this line, Fred is highly articulated. Uh, a lot better than Spartan Lock that we reviewed previously. Um, just overall a fantastic figure. Again, one of the better ones. Um, it seems that Blue Team are getting the better draw in terms of articulation. Um, it's a bit of a shame Osiris are being neglected somewhat. But this figure itself is great. You have ball joints in the toes, ankles, knees, thighs, torso, head, shoulders, elbows in two spots and of course the wrist as well this allows for some fantastic poses and i've just posed him like this kind of weirdly just to kind of show the range of motion the arms can be moved anywhere you want the legs are pretty good in terms of posability you can have him crouch sat down or running uh, this is just so he doesn't fall over why it's limited but you can really get some articulation poses out of this figure really really good and to get great articulation often they cut back on detail but this is not the case here every detail from fred's armor is in there you even get the painted yellow wiring on the sides the nice little yellow trim on the shoulders fantastic visor paint some nice more highlights around the chest a nice black wash over it so it looks like a battle worn armor just absolutely great in terms of figure detailing yeah as usual you also can clip a weapon onto the back here through this little peg hole and if i rotate around you also have a peg hole on the thigh which you can attach his pistol to as you can see there and the dmr of course is a fantastic weapon itself that we'll get into now as you can see, this weapon is really highly detailed. Every single line and panel from the weapon in-game is perfectly uh, represented here. You even get the nice silver trim, and you get a nice bit of paint on the scope as well. I will, however, highlight that this weapon is not a toy. It is so delicate. Uh, this is my third DMR for Fred alone. Um, of course, to get those, I have to rebuy Fred each time. So I'm starting to build up a bit of army of Freds just to have spurs, um, which is a terrible shame. I don't know why it's so delicate. Um, it seems that they've changed the plastics uh, between like the Halo 4 line or the Halo Reach line. And this has made um, the Halo 5 DMR just incredibly delicate. Any kind of tap to the front section of the barrel here will probably result in it either being heavily bent or snapped off completely. The scope is only ever so slightly plugged in on that. That is a tiny piece of plastic that you can see just underneath the scope. Uh, that can snap just by kind of holding it wrong. Um, the trigger guard here, that can snap off when you're trying to get it into the figure's hand, which is exceptionally hard as it is. Um, you'd, I did have to use a lot of hot water to heat the hand and shape it as I kind of like crammed the hand in the bit of a shame that they didn't kind of think this through as a lot of people will probably end up with broken DMRs before they even get it out of the box let alone into the figure's hand. Um, this is probably the worst weapon they have ever done in terms of fragility. Uh, assault rifles are pretty tough. People have had problems with Spartan Lock's uh, battle rifle, but compared to this, um, that is just super strong. Uh, this one really is delicate. Um, and it is a bit of a shame, because like I say, you have to rebuy a whole figure just to get a new weapon if it breaks. Absolutely terrible design choice. Um, and I, I can't really say anything good in that sense. Yes, it's greatly detailed, but I think I would have rather have something a bit more solid that probably won't snap, especially on an action figure that could fall over if you pose it wrong. Um, that is how one of mine broke. You've got to be very careful with this figure not to break it. I would, if you are worried about it, I would probably just take the DMR out of his hands and just use the pistol or something because this weapon will not last long under intensive play. Another negative aspect on this weapon as well is that you had to cut the trigger finger out of the hand. It was a sc solidly sculpted hand at the start and that just it doesn't give you enough room to get into the DMR grip at all. So I had to cut down the line of the fingers to separate the finger in order to allow it to grip the trigger itself. Again, it's a customization option that's highly dangerous for some people depending on your age and it's just a really bad design flaw in terms of this whole kind of section of the figure i can't fault the articulation i can't fault the detail on the figure itself but not having a functional hand nor having a functional weapon just seems like a really big setback for this figure and it is a bit of a shame 
But like I say, the figure itself is really strong and durable. You could throw the rest of the thing against the wall and it'd survive, but this weapon is just horribly delicate. It is a shame. Um, so really, it is kind of up to you of if you want to purchase this figure. I would recommend it myself for Fred. Um, it's nice to complete a squad, and he's just a great figure, like I say. But the weapon thing could be a really big issue for some people out there. So overall, you get a fantastic figure with one major, major fail in terms of the weapon itself. Um, there is no real fix for this unless perhaps you swap it out with a Halo 4 or Halo Reach DMR. That will, however, create an inaccurate figure, but it might be your best call if you want Fred to have a DMR that will last. As it stands, the figure is great, the weapon isn't, so it really is up to you if you want to spend the 10 to £15 pounds on a figure that doesn't really hold up to par. Yes, it is better than Locke in terms of figure quality, but the weapon does kind of drag it down in terms of my rating. Um, and like I say, I've had to rebuy this figure uh, three times now. So I've essentially spent £45 on Fred just to get one that doesn't have a broken DMR. And if I accidentally mess up with that DMR, that then means I have to buy another. Um, so it really is up to you. I, like I say, this is definitely not a toy. Some of the other figures, you know, you could probably hand to like a baby and they wouldn't break. But this one, I would definitely not recommend letting anyone touch it who doesn't really appreciate that that weapon is very delicate. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it, despite my complaints on the weapon itself. As I said, the figure itself is fantastic, um, but we will be reviewing more from this line in the coming weeks, along with some more Halo Mega Bloks, Call of Duty, and Assassin's Creed. So don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!